Hi, this is Raya with your weekly weather roundup for July 14th to the 20th. Typhoon Ramesson, aka Glenda, made its way across the western Pacific this week, making landfall as a super typhoon Friday afternoon local time on the Chinese island province of Hainan, with maximum estimated sustained winds at 155 miles per hour. Ramesson caused at least 18 fatalities and 99 injured in China, and caused 94 fatalities as it made its way across the Philippines earlier in the week. According to Xinhua News Agency, Ramesson was the most powerful storm to hit China in 41 years. Typhoon Matmo, aka Henry, intensified late this week as it continues to hurtle toward the Philippines, Taiwan, and eastern China. Matmo is forecast to increase to a Category 2 or 3 strength storm in the next few days. And the Pacific Northwest is on fire. 19 major wildfires are burning across Washington and Oregon, fueled by dry and windy conditions and increased lightning activity. The Carlton Complex Fire, Chewakam Creek Fire, Mills Canyon Fire, Buzzard Complex Fire, Chenico Butte Fire, and Pine Creek Fire together have burned over half a million acres, most ignited by lightning strikes. And in lukewarm news, the Southeast experienced record cold temperatures for July, Wednesday to Friday. Dodge City, Kansas only reached up to 62 degrees on Thursday. And Friday, Memphis, Tennessee dipped to 69 degrees, Tuscaloosa, Alabama 75, and Greenville, Mississippi 71 degrees. 917 daily records were set this week across the U.S., with 80 high temperature records and 837 low temperature records. 